What you guys got another video here for you on how to download and install Windows 10 from a USB flash drive. Now, if you're having issues with Windows 10 and you want to do a fresh install, then this video is for you. I'm going to show you step by step the complete guide on how to do it. It's very simple and easy to do. So first go to your uh, search box here and type in here MS info and open up the system information box. Inside here, what you're looking for is your uh, motherboard make and also whether you're running uh, legacy mode or UEFI and basically what that's going to determine on whether you're running a newer system or an older system on your computer. So once we've got this information so now we know it's UEFI and also we've got the motherboard make you can check device driver here and this will show you all your device uh, drivers uh, for your PC. Now one of the big problems uh, for some motherboards is when you go and reinstall Windows some of these drivers may be missing and it could be crucial if you are missing the network driver. Now in 2020 it's not so common to have the network driver missing when you reinstall Windows 10 but it's always best to have all of these drivers backed up and ready to go so go to the manufacturer's website and download all of the drivers and put them onto a USB flash drive. This way when you go and reinstall Windows, you'll always have a backup of those drivers to reinstall them. And that way you can be 100% sure that you will have that LAN driver which can get you back on the internet. Now, of course, if you don't download these drivers and your network driver is missing, then you're not gonna be able to get on the internet. And If you don't have any other ways of downloading this driver, you can literally be caught without having any internet connection on that computer. These are the system requirements and installation uh, needs for Windows 10. Just make sure that you've got all of those criteria covered. Head over to Microsoft's Download Windows 10 page and download the tool now. This is the media creation tool that you're gonna need to create your bootable USB flash drive. You've got some useful links down the bottom here to show you how to do certain things, but I'll show you the whole process step-by-step step here. Now we've got our tool downloaded, what we're gonna do is open this up and then you will see getting a few things ready. Just let that do its thing. It does take a bit of time and then you'll get this uh, accept their license terms. Just click accept. And now you've got the choice to what did you want to do? Well, if you want to upgrade this PC now, we're gonna skip that and go straight into create installation media for a USB flash drive, DVD or ISO for another PC. Now you can select your language and architecture and addition for your build. So you can see here, use this recommended option. That's if you're gonna be installing it on the same PC that you're creating it for. I'm gonna remove this because it allow me to choose whatever version I want when I install it on multiple different types of computers. The architecture will be 32-bit, 64-bit or both. Most modern day computers are 64-bit, so that's probably what you're gonna to wanna to select there. So they're gonna select 64-bit in this case. And also we've got the addition here, which shows Windows 10. Now, of course, uh, we are gonna be selecting our language, which is English United Kingdom. Now you can choose another language if you're from a different part of the world. Now, if you don't know what version of Windows you are running, then you can check this out by going to the system page. Right click on the start button here and click on system and then go to the about page and it will tell you what version and edition you are running. You can see here, I'm running Windows 10 Professional. So that will be the version that you need to install. If you try to install Windows 10 Home with a Windows 10 Pro license key, it's not going to activate. So once you've got all your settings done, you can click next and choose the media to use. Now we're gonna use a USB flash drive, but you can download the ISO file if you wanna keep that for a backup at a later date but we're concentrating on building a USB flash drive. You should now see your USB flash drive here. If you don't, that means you've not got it plugged in. Plug it into the computer and then refresh the drive list and it should now detect your USB flash drive. Make sure there's no data on that drive before you uh, use it because it will erase all the data on that drive. So make sure you back up all that data. It's gonna get a few things ready and start downloading Windows 10 from Microsoft servers. That does take a bit of time, so depending on your internet speed, it will verify your download, and that does take a little bit of time too. I've speeded this process up, and then once it's verified, it will then start to create your Windows 10 media. 
This will copy all the files it needs over to your USB flash drive and make it bootable and ready for you to install on your PC. Once it's finished creating your bootable USB flash drive with Windows 10, you will then be able to uh, boot up your system and change the boot order in your BIOS. I'll quickly show you how to roughly do that and show you different methods of doing that. So your USB flash drive is now ready for use. Click finish and this will clean up some setup files and you'll be now ready to use it. So you want to get into your BIOS. You can do that by tapping on any type of key like F2 or F12 or escape key. Go to your settings here and select boot. Your menu may look slightly different to this, but basically what you're trying to do here is change the boot order. You can see boot mode selected legacy plus UEFI. In my case, yours might be UEFI or it might be legacy. If you want trouble free, just use legacy just for this option and you'll be able to boot up very easily to that USB flash drive. I've made sure the boot option one is my USB flash drive and it says hard disk sand disk that's because it's a sand disk usb flash drive you can also go to the advanced settings on this motherboard and you can also change the usb configuration and i'm going to go inside here and just change uh, some of this here so you can see legacy usb supported enable you can also turn off a uh, secure boot if you wish temporarily once that's done push f10 and save your options and escape this will then boot up to your screen, push the enter key, and then basically the USB flash drive will start to load. You will get the Windows setup page just like this. Choose your language that you want for your country, and then click next. All we need to do now is click on the install now button. This will start to set up and install Windows 10 on your system. Let's take a bit of time. Now, if you've got an OEM license key already, then you can click, I don't have a product key. You don't need to enter a product key at this stage. Now you need to choose which version of Windows you are running. So in my case, it's Windows 10 Pro, but it's normally between Windows 10 Home or Windows 10 Pro. Most people are using these two versions. You can choose your version and click next. Once that's done, it will move on to the next phase where you need to accept their license terms. Then we can click next again. Now we need to choose a custom install for Windows only. This is for advanced users. Click on this tab. Now, depending on how many hard drives you've got, you may see your previous version of Windows here. If it's a brand new drive, it will probably have unallocated space there. But in this case, we're just going to delete these partitions. These are for our old Windows installation. If you've got more than one drive in there, I'd advise you to disconnect those drives before you install because you could end up wiping those drives. Be very careful. So we're going to choose the unallocated space now and click new and you can create new partitions if you wish. You can do that at a later date if you want to or just select next on the unallocated space, which will then just go ahead and install it onto the whole uh, drive the whole partition and you can create new partitions later on. This will go ahead and start to install Windows. You need to then restart your PC. You can remove the flash drive at this stage and then Windows will start to boot up. You'll get a few things ready and you'll see here it will stay just a moment and then you will get to the next phase of the installation. So just let that do its thing. It does take a little bit of time to install and I have speeded this process up. So you need to choose your region and I'm going to choose the United Kingdom. If you're in another part of the world, you can choose a different location. Now you need to choose your keyboard layout. I'm going to choose United Kingdom, but you can choose another uh, keyboard layout if you wish. Or you can choose multiple layouts, as you can see here. Choose a secondary keyboard layout. So maybe you've got another language you use and you want to choose that, you can do at that stage. It's just going to get these things set up for you. So just sit back and let it do its thing. It does take a bit of time, so just be patient. You can see how easy it is to install Windows 10 nowadays. It's not very difficult once you know how. We're just going to let this do a few more things and get some important settings set up for us before we can move on to the next phase. So just let this uh, do its thing. It does take a bit of time, so just be patient. And we can move on to the next bit. So how would you like to set it up? So we're going to set this up as a personal use. 
Now the next part of the process is signing into your Microsoft account. If you've got one, you can sign in here already, or you can create a new one. I prefer to use an offline account. So if you don't want to sign into Microsoft or be a part of that program, you can use the offline account. I'm going to literally opt out of this and say limited experience. But if you want to get now, you can do again. We're going to be putting in our name. This is our profile name for our account. You can put in whatever you like here. So I'm just going to put Brightech in here or you can create an online account if you prefer to do that. So we go next and again, create a really memorable uh, password. This will be useful if you want to put a password on your Windows 10 account. I'm going to skip that part, but you would be better off. To this is the part where I'm going to say do not use online speak recognition. I don't need that uh, on my system. It uses Cortana as well. Let Microsoft and apps use your location. If you use weather apps and stuff like that, you may want to say yes here. This will be your geolocation for where you live. I'm going to say no, I don't want that feature. And I will select no here. Accept. And then find my device. I don't need to have this feature on, so I'm going to say no here. But you can select yes if that's what you want to do for your installation. Send diagnostic information back to Microsoft. I'm going to set this to basic. And again, improve inking and typing this basically records things that you're typing on and and things like that. I don't want that. So I'm going to say no. Again, get tailored experiences with diagnostic data. This is ads and stuff like that that Microsoft will send you. I'm going to say no for that as well. And let apps use advertising ID. I'm going to say no for that as well. Do more across devices with activity history. I'm going to say no for that as well and let Cortana help you do things. I don't want to do that either. So I want to block Cortana and turn her off. But if you use Cortana, then accept those features. Just read all through those and choose whether you want to have them on or off. It's that simple. So we're just going to get a few things ready and it takes a few minutes. So just be patient and it will go ahead and get things done. There we go. We're at the desktop now. So basically you've got to the Windows desktop of Windows 10. You've installed it successfully. You can now go ahead and install all of your drivers and all of your programs that you want on your installation. The next thing you want to do is make sure you've got Windows 10 updated. So go to the settings pane and go to update and security and check for updates. There'll probably be some updates. So let Windows 10 update and move on to the next stage once that's done. You'll reboot the system and keep doing that until there's no more updates available for your system. Now, depending on what type of Windows 10 license you had previously, uh, if it's an OEM license, it will be locked to that hardware and it will automatically activate when you reinstall Windows. Uh, also, if it's a brand new computer build and you haven't got a license key, then you will need to purchase yourself a license key to activate Windows 10. You can use Windows 10 without activating. There'll just be a watermark and a few features will be uh, missing for you as a, a non-activated version of Windows. But if you do want to activate, I'll show you how you can quickly activate Windows 10 for pretty cheap. And uh, I'll show you how to do that in this video as well. Now, if you already have a license key, which is a retail license key, and you've purchased your version of Windows 10 from Microsoft Store or something like that, you can then go in here and use the change product key uh, button at the bottom and click on this and a box will open up and you can then put in your product key into here, click next, and it will automatically activate your version of Windows 10. If you don't have a product key, already and you want to get one cheap then you can use sites like this one which is good offer 24 this video has been sponsored by good offer 24 just get over to the link in the video description create an account and then you can click on the buy windows 10 pro license key put in my promo code br09 and apply that and you will get a discount on the price for that license key as you can see here once that's done, you've got your license key, it will be emailed to you. You will then be able to use that license key to activate Windows 10. I'll quickly show you how to go about doing that. Go down to your start button, click settings, and then you will see Windows isn't activated, activate Windows now. Click on this, 
this will open up this pane here and then basically click on change product key click change product key and this will allow you to enter your product key that you've just purchased so click on there this little box will pop up put in your product key that you just purchased and then all you need to do is click on next and it will start to say we're going to activate your Windows 10 so just click on next it will say activate Windows 10 you just uh, basically click on activate it will then connect to Microsoft activation servers and check your license key to make sure it's legit and it will then activate your version of Windows it will say Windows has been activated and you should now have an activated version of Windows 10 as you can see up the top here now if you have already got a digital license that you had before it will already be locked to that hardware and it should automatically activate you only need to buy a license key if it's a brand new computer build and you don't have a license key for that PC so you can see we're fully activated and we're ready to use the computer so all you need to do now is install all of your software your antivirus programs and all the programs you like using and update all your drivers and you should be good to go I'll leave all the information in the video description if you need a license key my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos